Hello, Leo. This is Ree with Ree Divine Tarot. I'm here today, guys. I'm going to get you guys this July general readings out. This is going to be for um, a general read. So whatever pops out, pops out. I'm just going to read it as I see it. Um, and if it resonates, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share. And don't forget to click that bell so that you can subscribe to the channel, okay? All right, so let's see for Leo's. For the month of July, what energy is coming towards Leo's the month of July? All right, so. All right, Leos, at the bottom of the deck, guys, we have the Queen of Swords. There could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius involved, but things could possibly, or there could be a Pisces involved as well. Um, but things could possibly be on hold. Let's take a look and see. <clears throat> okay. All right. Mm. Excuse me, guys. I'm trying to get over a little cold here. All right, guys. So the first card that we have is going to be the Two of Cups. So there's a connection here. You feel connected to someone. You may feel like this person is your soulmate. But it looks like... Um, if I can get the card up. Here we go. The Two of Cups. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this card talks about, um, you know, soulmate connection. It talks about a relationship, a partnership. It doesn't necessarily has to be a love relationship, but just a partnership, a, a connection, a union that you have. So you feel connected to someone. There's a connection there. But I feel like um, the challenge being in Ten of Cups, maybe they aren't making you happy or maybe there's something that you aren't happy with, okay? Happy about. And this is happening because we have the Page of Pentacles, which is Virgo Taurus. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy, but it talks about, you know, conversations. This is small talk, okay? And it's something that you're not happy about, okay, with the Four of Cups. Maybe it's something that you're not happy about or someone is expressing to you that they aren't happy about something. In the recent past, you have the Nine of Swords. So something could have possibly been stressing you out. You could have been worried worrying and stressing about whether or not maybe about moving on from a situation or accepting something in a situation. But the Six of Swords talks about moving on, rite of passage, acceptance. So maybe you were stressing out, you know, whether or not if you were going to accept something or if someone would accept something or, you know, worried that <clears throat> something, someone could move on or, you know, stressing yourself out on whether or not you should move on from a situation. But I definitely feel as if, there is some balance that needs to come into the situation. You're desiring to have some type of balance, some type of structure, some type of peace in this situation. Because um, this situation could be definitely burdening you. Um, you want to lay down the burdens. You want to, you know, find peace within this situation. But I see coming to the near future, we got the Ten of Pentacles here. So this talks about, you know, long-term talks about your finances. It talks about stability. It talks about, you know, long-term, um, whether it be in regards to work, whether this is work-related, whether this is a situation where um, finances could be an issue. I feel as if things are, you know, going to um, be more stable for you. And then we have the Nine of Cups, which talks about being satisfied, satisfaction, and a wish fulfillment. So I feel like, you know, a wish fulfillment <clears throat> is going to come in the near future. But I feel like there is some things that needs to be worked on. Let's see why the Ten of Cups is here. Let's see why the Ten of Cups is here. Okay, yeah. Someone could possibly want marriage. And you're like, you know... With the Eight of Cups, you might be like, I don't know. 
I'm not sure if I'm ready because I still got some tricks and stuff up my sleeve. I'm still, you know, not possibly. You could be feeling like you're not ready to take that step. You'll be feeling, you know, like, I don't know if I'm ready. But then that's why it comes into the recent past. You could have been worried that they'll leave if, you know, they could possibly be, like, trying to give you an ultimatum. Like, you're going to be with me, but this is what I want. Or this is you doing that to someone. All right, so we got the six of swords. Let's see. It could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn that you're dealing with. Let's see. Six of swords. What six of swords here. Yep, lovers. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Gemini. But you could be stressing out that this individual is going to move on, make a decision to move on. Maybe they're, the, you know, standing up for themselves or you're standing up for yourself. You feel the need to um, defend your viewpoint. <clears throat> but they could be having you feeling stressed out. Like, if you don't make this decision, then they're going to move on. So you're designed to find a balanced, harmonious, peaceful way to, you know, lay down this burden and situation. Where if I nine of cups? That's the nine of cups here. I feel like you're connected. You feel a connection, but you just like not sure if you want to level up and like get married or, you know, give them a full, I'm just sensing marriage. I'm definitely sensing marriage here with the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. This is definitely marriage or engagement, okay? And it's like, you don't even want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it. You're not ready to talk about it. But, you know, it's not saying that you don't care about them. There's a connection there. But, you know, you just feel as if, you know, maybe you're not ready or, you know, there's, there's, Let's work on, let's, there's still things that I need to work on or you need to work on before we take this step. This is a big step. Okay, clarify the nine of cups. Why is the nine of cups here? Okay, we got the emperor. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Aries, but I feel like you, you want to, in the near future, you know, I feel like you're going to be more in control or you're wanting you, you know, you're going to be wishing that you had more control over the situation. Maybe family is going to be involved. Sorry about the, the emperor. Maybe a father is going to get involved or someone that plays a fatherly role. Sorry about the emperor. Maybe you're wanting to get advice from an older person um, in the family, <clears throat> an uncle or a father figure. Yeah, Knight of Cups. I feel as if some of you guys are going to be, you know, I feel like some of you guys are going to um, get advice from someone that's older. Yeah, with the sun card here. I feel like with these two cards here, I feel like this is like getting clarity, getting answers, asking questions to get some type of clarity, okay? All right, guys, so that's going to be the reading that I have for you guys for July. It seems like someone wants to, you know, wants to get married and or wants to get engaged and maybe you're feeling as if, you know, is this the right time? Is let me think about it. This is something that's, you know, and I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest jumping right into a marriage. It's, that definitely is something that needs to be talked about. Make sure that you guys are on the same page. Making sure that everything is, you know, everything is put together. The foundation is a strong foundation. So that's going to be the reading that I have for you guys. If you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, my um, email address is redivinetarotempress at gmail.com. And we can take a deeper look into this for you, okay? All right, Leos, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Ciao for now.